So you're interested to find out if this Razor Cobra Wired is basically a Razor Viper Mini? Oh, we're going to find out. We're going to take it to pieces. We're going to compare it against a Viper Mini exactly at the same time. And we're going to see if Razor really have made a Mini Viper, but I've called it Cobra. So I'm Billy Bob, been around 44 years, gaming for 35 plus. I am obsessed with gaming tech. If you like mice especially, then this is the place to come because I mod them, tear them down, and I'm going to give you all the data to get you a competitive edge over your rivals. Let's test out this Cobra Wild. Let's take it apart, see what it's about. See if Razor have made it basically a Viper Mini, which you've already done a tear down of. You know? Check it out if you want it. This cable is going to play around the weight now. Same screw points on oh my days. Can't be. You know, let's take it. Let's take it apart next to the Viper Mini. We're gonna have to. I've got to see it. I'm not gonna weigh the Viper Mini stuff, but so the screws they've gone for the old school. It's not pissed off, is it? We've got normal screws in this one, whereas the other Vipers come up with this. We said torque before. These are identical shapes. So you'll be able to switch and use your Viper skates basically on your Cobra if you wanted. So I don't need to make any new skates. You got to buy some upgrades or something. These are new on the Cobra. These plastic rivet. How can they rivet the base? Look at this PCB. I've changed the side buttons out slightly, but that is a Viper Mini. It's so similar. You got the shitty rear LED. They've enclosed it more on there. This is their Cobra. This side. They've enclosed it. Lower profile button. Side buttons have changed position. I mean, they've got a very similar PCB. It's not identical, but it's. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a Viper Mini, isn't it? To me, it's a Viper Mini, right? It's a very slightly updated Viper Mini. Yeah, that's the Zowie side button design, right? So this is a problem. So the way they slide over is what um, Zowie did and makes them a bit ropey. But in this one, they got full size switches with their shitty design. And on the Pro, they've used small switches. Right, let's get back into this fun. So let's start with this one. So a bit of a white, bit of a white nipple, interesting. Using white mail R pad instead of uh, black to change. Overarching design, same. We've got plastic rivets, both DPI again. This side button design is different to the Viper, but again, riveted sides. And this design I don't like because it rubs over the top of the switch. So you have the switch plunger like so. And normally a button will push down on it, and this one like slides over it, which is what the Zowie EC2 uses, I think. And it was a very bad design. But what they have done, which stops it. Being as bad is they've got a little lock here it stops it mushing i wouldn't have done that design but pretty sturdy though this bridging on the back makes it decent for flex So we've got three screws, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. 
see so got a name on the bottom cav2 which is a code name here's your ring if you want to swap it guarantee it's the same as a viper mini Cable wire. So yeah, I was thought it's it's flexible, but it's not that flexible. But like I said, this is I basically it's an updated Viper Mini. But side switches are changed. I don't have the block anymore on the sat flat, which I wouldn't say was ideal. Still got the same LEDs though, ironically. The old man vision out. So I want to see the change the MCU. I don't remember the MCU on the Mini. Be hard for me to say. It's got paint over it or something, or the coating. All can see is the last two digits, which are 35. It might be 1135 or something. Can't tell. But the sensors are PAW3349DB-TZOU. Right, let's see what the Mini is. The sensors are PAW3359DB. And the Cobra is a PAW3349 nine db so there's a five difference 33 five was it 33 five and this is the 33 four sensor in this cobra and the mcu is uh it's the same mcu a 11 u35 on the mini and this is the same i said it was 11 something 35 and it must be 11 u35 so it's got the same mcu and a slightly updated sensor on it right let's uh measure the pcb we did take the LEDs off the back of the uh, original Viper we did mini when we did a weight reduction on it, so you can take these off. Well, you could on the other one, I don't see why you couldn't on this one. Got the same uh, hot swappable switches, so you can just ping them off as usual. The Pro's got an 11mm encoder, and this one's got a 9mm kale, black. Now onto the base. No weight reduction on the base, just looks pretty standard. Different sensor than the light from the um, Viper Mini, but nothing very special about it. It's got this, actually. It's got this inserted smoke diffuser. Okay, it is riveted, actually. I must have pinged it off before, not realising. So it is riveted, whereas this side wasn't. So I'll have to leave it on because you're not supposed to rip it off, but... Yeah, well. 